Hi guys, I'm Amaya. Welcome to Creepy Cozy Cute. This is my part two of my huge Halloween haul. I went to a few stores and I got a bunch of really great stuff. So if you guys are excited about Halloween, if you're into holiday decor content, then subscribe and join the Creepy Cozy Cute coven. So before we even get to the haul, I have a quick little story for you guys. Like everybody else, I was looking all over the place for the Headless Horseman statue and I actually got so lucky and I ended up finding it in a random TJ Maxx in Manhattan on October 31st. So literally the very last day that I could have bought Halloween decorations and because it was already on October 31st they had even marked it down. So I ended up getting this awesome piece that's going to be the centerpiece of my living room for $15 because he was on clearance. So the first stop on our Halloween decor hunt was Marshall's. Uh, so we actually, when we go to Marshall's Home Goods TJ Maxx, uh, we go dunting, which is what my fiance calls when we go searching for Ray Dunn pieces. So this time we actually found really, really great Halloween Ray Dunn pieces. So the first piece that we saw was this. So it's two pumpkins, they're black, and it says Fright Night. This one was $19.99. The next Ray Dunn piece, which is really cool and different, and I didn't think I was going to see this one in stores at all. It is the Haunted House, and it says Haunted in orange, and it's got a painted orange door, and this one was $14.99. Another Ray Dunn piece, actually, that I found is my coffee mug, which I'm using this morning, which has my pumpkin spice latte in it. So it is the black one that says Witch in white. And I've already started using it because I love it so much. The last thing that I picked up from Marshalls was this little sign. And it says, which way to the booze? And it's going to go right above my bar. I thought the sign was really cute. And I love this witch and booze. It's a, a little twofer. Next, we popped into Spirit Halloween and we got two really cool signs. The first sign that we picked up from Spirit Halloween is this one. It is a Sanderson Museum of Witchcraft sign from Hocus Pocus. This sign was $9.99. It's really cute. It's the smaller version because Spirit does have a larger one that looks just like this, same shape and everything, same design. But this one actually has two functions. It can be used as a tabletop sign or it can be hung up. We're probably going to hang it up. I did like the big one, but I decided to go for the smaller one just because we are running out of space on our walls, which is also why I actually grabbed the smaller version of this next sign. So if you've seen the large Camp Crystal Lake sign at Spirit, it's amazing and I need to have it before the end of this year. But I did pick up this one to hold me over. So this one is also really cool. It was $16.99. And the letters are recessed, so it's got like a 3D effect, which is really nice. So it's not just a piece of wood with some paint on it. It does look like really official. The next store that we popped into was Michael's. Now, our Michael's is not really stocked yet. Uh, I hear they just kind of started putting more Halloween stuff out. But when I went, there was maybe one fixture of Halloween. So we did pick up two little items from there. The first item is this glass jar. It's got like a mercury effect, which is really pretty that I like a lot. It says toxic pumpkin tonic, and it's definitely going on my coffee bar this year. This one was $7.99. We also picked up this cool sign. It says Old Salem Broom Co. And this one is probably going over my front door. This one was $12.99. Of course, I am constantly ordering from Hot Topic, so it's not unheard of that I would have found Halloween stuff there too. I did find this really cool Halloween decor piece there. It is a bobblehead from Royal Bobbles and this one is from John Carpenter's Halloween and it is Michael when he's dressed as a ghost. This was $34.90 and I haven't taken him out of the box yet but you'll definitely see him in my next decor video. The next store that we went to was Home Goods, and I got a few really really great and impactful pieces. So the first piece that I got is this stackable mug set. So they are black and they've got some spider web and spider designs. These were $9.99. I also grabbed a pillow because again, you can never have too many spooky pillows. This is also redone, but I thought this was so cool. It says creep it real and it's got skeleton hands on it. So this pillow was $16.99. And then I also got some blankets. 
So they are very big and very heavy blankets. So let's see if I can show them to you guys. The first one that I got, it's got skeletons and they kind of look like they're, they're doing yoga just a little bit. And it is reversible. So on one side, it's black with white skeletons. On the other side, it's white with black skeletons. And it also has an orange border. This one was $19.99. And the last blanket that I got is Ray Dunn, of course. And this one is black. And it's got a little patch that says Feeling Wicked. And this one was $16.99. The last store that we went to was Target. Our local Target, they really haven't stocked anything yet. But I did find a few items, a few in the Target dollar spot, which is always nice to find. I found these two spooky branchy trees. These are definitely going to go behind my head's horseman to kind of set a spooky scene. These were $5 each. And also from the Target dollar spot was this. It's like a little bat pedestal. And this was $3. And I really like this because it almost perfectly fits the single wick candles from Bath & Body Works. So that's definitely what I'm going to use this for. And then I also, so I never really set up Halloween lights. But this year I think I'm going to go out of my comfort zone and I'm going to throw some purple and orange lights in. So I did get these, which I thought were really cool. So they are the uh, gauze garlands and they have the lights in them. So I got one orange, one purple, and these were $10 each. So the last item that I got from Target is this candy dish. It is black ceramic and it's from Threshold. It was $10. So if you look at it, it's got a full spider underneath holding up the dish, which I thought was so cool and so unique. And this is definitely an all year round piece. So that was the end of this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys found any great pieces, if you found that Headless Horseman, I want to know. Drop a comment below. Let me know what pieces you're really excited about this year. And I can't wait to start decorating. So definitely stay tuned for my Decorate With Me video. If you are into content like this, if you like Halloween, if you like me, if you like my hair, if you like Samantha, then give me a like, give me a subscribe, and join the Creepy Cozy Cute Coven. Bye! See you guys next time!